Alright, hey, what's up everyone? I am doing a voiceover for this video though, simply because my computer is a bit too loud when I try to do live audio. But I will be opening the Dual Cluster Villains deck, which features Odin as the Order. So I am gonna apologize for <laughs> how weird it is. Um, I am gonna try for like any future live videos I try to do, try to just get that like all good. Um, probably just have to like record somewhere else though to get rid of the audio. Uh, from like the computer. So yeah, here we have. It comes with like a little pamphlet showing you how to play the game. You see here, I show it off a little bit. And then we have another pamphlet right here that comes in here as the glossary. Uh, this was pre-opened though, by the way, because apparently there was like, an issue. So yeah, the glossary, all the keywords and stuff. Uh, there was an issue where you can actually get five foils. I mean, not five foils. Sorry. Uh, we can get an additional foil, so you get a five playset of one card, and end up getting a three of a different one, which obviously you cannot use. I was just trying to make sure that like everything was good with that. There you saw there was the play mat that it comes with. Now here I'm showing off the ruler itself. Yeah, the ruler for this one is Odin. You see both sides there. So yeah, I, I do realize though, like it, it is a bit hard to see the text on them. Just so you know though, then it the order resonator gets plus two, plus two, and pierce, which is basically trample from magic if you're more familiar with that. Then here we go. We have the first card, one drop, artillery of faith. Uh, I'll just tell you what it does again. Card gets plus X plus X, where X is the highest cost, and when it enters, you discard, and then you deal 200 times the cost of that card discarded to target player, and then you draw a card. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Next, 2 drop, 2 white, choir of the Valkyrie, put 2 four, 4 light sword resonators tokens on the field, and then force resonance faith, which since Odin's the, the ruler, you, it's triggered. Instead, you put X 4-4, four, four, where X is the, total, uh, the highest total cost. Among the entities you control. Next, Gary and Frecky, Gritty Wolves, three white, two colorless. So it is a villains, and you remove target non magic stone, non J ruler entity your opponent controls from the game. You do the same when it leaves, and it's a thousand thousand. And here I'm just fixing it because I realized it was kind of dumb <laughs> with, with the way the uh, my phone is angled, it was upside down. Okay, here we go. We have Kara Swift Valkyrie. One, I'll say light instead of white. One light, one colorless. Villain swiftness with flying. Tap it to produce one light. And it's a six, seven. Keep the faith. One light, zero chance. Quick cast. It gives target resonator, J resonator plus four, plus four, flying and drains on the turn. Or it reanimates a one drop. And if, uh, sorry, with uh, force command faith, you can destroy J roller you control and draw two. So you do that, and then you can also do that ability. Uh, two color, uh, two light, sorry, and one colorless, praying Valkyrie, and nine nine flying, where if it enters the graveyard, it instead exiles itself, or removes itself, and then adds one to additional cost, and you can also pay one color, one light to discard it to draw a card, and then also when it's ordered, you gain a thousand and draw two. If uh, it costs five. The next card here is basically a board wipe, that's going to be Rangrid, 2 light, 5-5, five, five. when it enters, minus your opponent's board where X is the highest cost. I mean, uh, it gets X where X is the highest cost, and then also deals that much to your opponent's board, where X is its power. I mean, where it's power. Uh, repeating Faith Revival, basically 1 light, 2 colors. It's your reanimating tool that comes back to your hand for playing Odin. It cannot be chased to, and it reanimates a light resonator or light alternative from a graveyard. Next, Spear of Minerva, one light, four, four. It's the same thing as the Valkyrie, uh, the angel, where when it goes to the graveyard, it gets removed instead. And then its enter effect as an order is draw and put two plus one plus one counters on it. You really don't want to go for that, though. You mostly just want it to go to grave so that you can get removed instead and add plus one to all your uh, total costs. Here we have the Holy Shield of Miscellane. It's one light. You can tap it to redirect the damage. Next instance, the damage to your J-Ruler. And then 
whenever you would count costs, it itself counts as four. And it comes with some foil light stones, some regulars, non-foils of like all the uh, finisher play sets for everything else. See that there. Just going off showing that you get full play set of everything in here. Unfortunately, like, you know, you only get the one foil of each playset, but that's fine. The Praying Valkyrie, Rangrid, Repeating Faith Revival, really good card. Soldier Minerva, Holy Shield of Mislane, and then the rest of your Light Magic Stones. Your will coin for when you're going second. You just banish it for a one time for Odin being light, green, or darkness. Sorry, light, wind, or darkness. Then it comes with some life point counters. Obviously, they're going to equal to 4,000, so they give you three 1,000s. The art on them is different. They give you that one 500 point. And then they give you here the five 100s. Which again totals four thousand. Since you had the ability to make tokens, they actually do give you two four four soldier tokens. Which I mean, it would have been better if they gave you like a few more. But I guess it does make sense by default. It does make the two four fours, but obviously you can as you know, like the miscellane alone is worth four for the total cost. So it's definitely gonna be, you know, four right there. Not including any of your pluses. But I mean, it's it's fine. You know, you could always just use like playing counters or you just get more. And here I am, I'm just sleeving it. Overall, though, I would say it's like pretty good for, you know, like a starter. Let's give me a second, let me drink this real quick. For a starter, it's not that bad. Obviously, there are some changes you could make to it. Like, for example, uh, Kara isn't, like, too amazing. I didn't mention it because it wasn't necessarily relevant. But the order effect on that is to actually on enter. Of, uh, sorry. On enter of the actual uh, revolution ability. It's going to... Destroy a target J attacking J resonator, which if you if you look at it, you obviously realize it can't do anything because it would need quickness. I mean, it would need a quick cast in order to be able to destroy a target J resonator. Since it's only like at a since it doesn't have quick cast, you can't cast it during combat, so you won't be able to order it during combat. So you can't really get any value out of that. Obviously, that does tie into like stuff you can get from the actual set itself. Personally, I'd probably just take it out to be honest. I'd obviously have to like play around and see like what I want to change. Another thing to keep in mind though is um it's possible to make less than two of the soldier tokens. Because since the faith uh since uh the um the command faith replaces it where you make X tokens, or X is the highest total cost. If it's turn one, you only have like a one drop or something, you're only going to get that one 4-4. Four four. So you actually lose the 4-4, four four, but at the same time, you can also just make a lot more than four. Like there's been times, I mean, uh, more than two, there's been times I made like four to six of them. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's just do keep that in mind. Also, yeah, it was kind of weird to have, like, see these wearing gloves. Um, I mean, it, it was weird, but, I mean, it wasn't too difficult as I thought it would be. Take another sip of this. And then I will, like, explain the full uh, Keep the Faith. Since I kind of like summarized what it did. The actual text on it though. 
is again one light chant keep the faith quick cast choose one target j resonator gains plus 400 plus 400 flying and drain its under turn or put target non magic stone non chant with total cost one or less from your graveyard into the field or put the resonator part of a target alternative card with a resonator part with total cost one or less from your graveyard into the field those are the three options and then force resonance faith Instead, you can add the additional option and then choose one. Destroy target Jerry ruler you control if you do draw cards equal to its cost. So I, I did say the two cards. Um, that was a little error, so do keep that in mind. So in reality, for like the starter deck itself, not changing anything, you can either give something 4-4, fly and drain, or you can reanimate a one drop. And then you can also just sack your ruler to draw that many. I did mention um, the actual wording on keep uh, repeating faith revival with the alternative. Obviously, there is no alternatives in here, but you can also add them. And then let me just make sure I pro like fully explain like everything here. So I did explain that, explain that. To explain how like kind of weird it was to like to give Kara like unenter destroy target attacking J Resonator. That was uh it was interesting. Obviously they try to make it worthwhile to change stuff around. At least that's what I think. But it, it was a really interesting design. Yeah, so I did uh, explain everything. Obviously, though, there's not a lot of them you want to order. Like, for example, ordering Gary and Frecky doesn't give you any benefit. As opposed to, like, ordering something like the Rangrid for the board wipe. But, like, at the same time... Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I did say Gary and Frecky are 1,000,000. ,000. There are 1,300, 1,300, 1,300. So that's another thing too. So yeah, there's not like a whole lot you'd want to order for the most part. The only two I actually end up ordering end up being Rangrid and the Praying Valkyrie for the life gain and for the board wipe. The rest of them, you can just play them as normal resonators. And then you also have like Artillers of Faith is like a big source of damage. You can end up like discarding your high costs like Garen Freki. Or uh, the Prank Valkyrie to also burn your opponent and replace that card. If you end up discarding the Prank Valkyrie, you also do net off of that because it does increase the costs by one. And then discarding Garen Freki also makes it a target for a repeating faith revival, so you can cheat it out for three instead of having to pay the full five. And then another thing you can also discard too is extra repeating faith revivals because they do go back to your hand. If you're playing against the other starter deck, the Tails. It's not like a need to keep multiple in your hand, but um, against like, you know, actual pre-constructed, uh, well, not necessarily pre-constructed, but like actual built decks, you might want to keep the actual one just in case they're able to get rid of it by discarding it from your hand, but they can't cancel the card because it cannot be chased to if Odin is your ruler. So unless they like discard it from your hand or just move it out of your hand, they can't really get rid of it. So just do keep that in mind. Another thing too is extra missile lanes aren't necessarily too huge. Um, in the mirror match against the tail starter, I always found myself just discarding extras because there's no real value to them. And then like when I got to two, I never really saw much value past that because I have not used like three. Because either like you know the ruler's dead off of the first redirect. So, like, there's not much value to the second one, or maybe if it's, like, just off by, like, a couple hundred, it does die on the second uh, redirect. But I, I don't really see the value on the third one unless you're doing, like, three small redirects. Or, like, maybe two small redirects and, like, a big one. I would say, though, like, the things I would change from here, like I said... 
car seems to be a really weird addition to it. It is a 6.7 flying that cans have for lights. But um, there are better options you could probably have. And then miscellane, I would obviously cut that down. So yeah, I did put it in the sleeve here, but I did change it to like the clear one because I mean, it's less work to swap it. So let's. Okay. So, yeah, I'm here. I am just like showing off the different things you could possibly like do with that. I kind of did like explain though, like while I was sleeping and everything, like the different things you could possibly try and go for. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, like the voiceover, I don't know, it's just kind of weird to be honest. I think I would just prefer to do it live. So yeah, for future things, I will just do it live instead. I just have to solve the problem with like the sound. But you know, that's it for now. I'm just gonna let this finish and play out. I will try and like potentially soon try and do another one though. Cause uh, the, again, the voiceover was a bit yikes. So next time I'll try and just do it live so I don't run into that same problem.